Hello folks and welcome to App Screencast. In this video I'm going to be demoing a small application called Scribble. Um, it's, it's an application actually from the makers of Tweety. If you know what Tweety is, it's a uh, Twitter client for the iPhone and the Mac. And it's been a very successful application, a very popular application. And has a lot of fans. But Scribble is a totally different application to that. And it's actually a drawing application for the Mac. And it's a, basically, it's a really, really simple application on the surface, but it's got one hugely powerful feature, which I'm going to demonstrate in a minute. But what I think the uh, makers of Scribble have tried to do is make it as simple as possible. And just imagine it, it's not like a Photoshop alternative or anything like that. It's basically just imagine having a piece of paper and a pen in your hand and drawing on the paper. And that's basically what the application tries to emulate. So quickly launch it as you can see already from the interface there isn't much to it you haven't got many options start off down at the bottom you've got your stroke for your brush so whatever kind of stroke you want to do I'm going to go for the standard stroke choose the colour whatever you want exit out the colours how big you want the actual brush to be so thin or thick then you've got your layers so you can actually add more layers which is useful got the brush tool up here to select, so you can select the brush which I'm already on you've got a rotate tool which I'll show you in a minute the hand tool to move around the screen and a zoom tool so basically that is all there is to the application but I'm going to save the best feature to last but I will show you that in a minute so let's quickly draw something by the, by the way, I would recommend using a Wacom tablet or some kind of pen tool to actually draw with. Using the mouse is never great for these kinds of applications. Um, but unfortunately, my tablet is broke, so I'm stuck with the mouse for the, for the moment. But it doesn't matter. I'll try and demonstrate this best I can. So you can see I've just drawn a big blue circle, whatever that's meant to be. It's quite possibly might be the worst picture ever. It's like someone, like a three year old, just drawn it or something like that, but hopefully you get the idea. So, there's actually no fill tool, which is a bit of a disappointment, but I will explain more in a minute. So, yeah. Basically, my image is quickly drawn, and now what I can do with this, I need to zoom out. What I can basically do with the rotate tool is rotate it and move it around the screen. If it'll let me. There you go. So I can rotate it and move it around the screen. So, yeah, pretty cool, but the main feature is this the zoom tool. Now, watch this. Zooming on the eye, zooming on the eye, keep zooming. As she have moved into the uh, zoomed into the pupil. Basically, I don't know if you've already caught on what's happening here. Let me zoom out. It's basically, the more you zoom in, it never gets pixelated. So you can basically add as much detail as you want to the image, and it never gets pixelated. It's a really powerful um, little feature in such a simple application. And what else you can do is just keep zooming out, oh, out, 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 as much as you want. So it's really crazy that you can actually do this because normally on applications like Photoshop, the more you zoom in, it gets pixelated. And at the start of the, when you first create the image, you've got to decide how big you want the image in resolution to be. On this application, you don't have to tell it what resolution you want the image to be. You can basically just create it, add as much detail as you want, zoom in, add more detail, zoom out, keep adding to the image as much as you want. And you never actually have to worry about it being pixelated and um, what size the image is going to be and just to quickly finish up 
you got some cool brush effects as well which we can add to the image so yeah and also we can add layers like so and if you want to do is delete that layer we made a mistake we can just delete it now what you can do then once you've created your image and you're happy with it you can export it or you can save it if you save it you'll save it just as a scribble file so that means you can go back into it and edit it anytime you want touch it up etc but what you also can do is export it which you're probably going to want to do call it whatever you want then you save it what file type you want you can do a bitmap a gif file a jpeg pdf pict whatever that is png or a tiff file i'm going to save it as just a standard jpeg then you choose what resolution you want um, when i was trying it out earlier and i um, saved it by uh, 16 times the image size was something like 20,000 pixels wide or something so it's really really um, big resolution you can go up to if I just save it as default though just to show you it's quicker to export obviously there's the preview image open up in preview close this down now we're done with scribble and if you just quickly go up to the image on the file and you just go get info you can see the resolution of it's 1280 by 673 pixels so it's quite a large image but you can go even larger like I said if you wish and what then you can do is export it into something like Photoshop and add more more to it if you wish etc so it's a really great application really powerful and it's definitely an application I'm going to recommend to everyone who's into drawing on the computer who's into digital art so you can get the scribbles application from the 8bits.com website I'll leave the link in the description by the way. Unfortunately it's not a free application, it does cost $19.95. But if you do go on the 8bits website, you can actually download the trial version and give it a go. So yeah, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Also if you wish you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash appscreencast. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you later. Goodbye.